this year. Also some of the yellow poppies. We stopped at our favorite little hill here. Ocotillo is still looking good. The fish hook cactus is doing good. And up here at the top we've got a bunch of the desert chicory blooming. Just like a white version of the desert dandelion. And we're going to be fighting the wind today, it looks like. We also spotted this beaver tail cactus. Didn't quite get its flower all the way open in time for us, but he tried. Plenty of the Arizona lupin blooming on the way down here. Wonder how our fish hook cactus are doing. This guy's doing okay. His flowers are just starting to open. Next to the fish hook, we've got some rock daisies, it looks like. These guys are a little taller than the desert stars. I think their white petals are shorter, too. Fish hook family. Lumen pretty good. Here's a few of the little poppies. Hopefully, we'll see a lot more of them today. Spotted some ghost flowers at the last stop we were at down the hill. So we're hopeful there'll be some up Little Surprise Canyon today. Well, Little Surprise Canyon isn't just known for ghost flowers, also for the monkey flowers. Here's a big patch of them. Probably the biggest concentration of them I've ever seen. Got a nice pretty combination of lupin and poppies going on here. This little side trail we're following dead ends right around this corner, or it just gets really steep and nasty, but 
There's a nice patch of lupin here and plenty of monkey flowers to go around. Can't really see them unless you get close. There's plenty of them. This barrel cactus has got some big flowers. Nice and wide open. Lots more to come. Seen a few of these big bushes with tiny little purple flowers. We're not sure what they are yet. Whatever it is, it sure has a lot of the little flowers on it. Here's another big patch of the monkey flowers. There's even a couple of ghost flowers. Just keep going. There's Mr. Ghost Flower. They're kind of few and far between. Quite a ring, huh? Yeah. Not wide open, but lots of them open. A lot more poppies up there. If you look closely, you can see the monkey flowers. Goodness. Makes a nice color combination with this purple facilia here. This is a nice stand of poppies. The busy little bee. I want some more of that. I wasn't through yet. That's good stuff. So I wonder what barrel cactus honey tastes like. Oh, <laughs> that one down there? Uh-huh. Very different up here on the plateau. Ocotillo and cactus. In the canyon you got monkey flowers, ghost flowers, and poppies. To name a few.
stands out a little more. I can see it better than that pink, which is so close to the ground. So. A little aerial view of Little Surprise Canyon. Big bunch of poppies down there that we saw. There's a barrel cactus. Lots more poppies. Another good patch of monkey flowers over there. That's Hellhole Canyon up there. One of the first things we saw coming up this canyon was just tons of this pincushion stuff. It's almost like the facility growing amongst all the taller bushes. Most of the monkey flowers in the past that we've seen are like this one. Short and stubby and just a few flowers. And he's got a neighbor that's breaking the records. As far as I can tell, this is all one plant. Decided to come straight to Gloria Canyon today. I've seen a few poppies already. Mover's checking out a barrel cactus. A few more people here today than when we were here last. Although not at the end of the trail so much, just on the way up. Here's some poppies. Little tiny white flowers below them are rock daisies, too. Finally, desert poppies and Gloria Canyon again. Hiked pretty far up Glorieta Canyon, maybe farther than usual. A few people, not too bad. Come off the trail a little bit to see this really nice barrel cactus. Big fat boy with lots of flowers. <laughs> Not terribly tall, but nice and plump. <laughs> Lots of flowers on display. coming still. Pretty healthy looking cluster of barrel cactus here. Looks like there's a 
about seven of them. The ones over here have flowers on them. Lots of teddy bear and barrel cactus up here. I haven't seen a whole lot of the pink beaver tail cactus. Until now. There's one. He's been busy and he's got a lot more to come. Such a bright pink shows up easily from a distance. <laughs> Hiding in the shade as usual is another fish of cactus. You can see his little fish hook spines too. See his little babies too. Very cute. We were going beaver tail hunting and we came across Desert Star City. So those little tiny white flowers. Our little desert stars. That's how they grow in the sand. Came up to see it, we spotted a bunch of ghost flowers, so we're still here. There's all the monkey flowers I saw. seen on previous trips combined. They're usually pretty few and far between, but not today. Here's 
one of the ghost flowers. Here's some more. So we've been reminded on this trip that the ghost flowers like to live on steep hillsides. Climbed up here and found lots of little bunches of them. how big this plant is. As far as I can tell that's all one. It's got a lot of flowers on it. I found a little plant here. Can you be more specific? Gold flower. Oh. Right here. Well I got a big one right here so Look at all those flowers. Very nice. They don't stop here either. Another good plant up there. Good brittle bush. We're so glad we didn't miss the poppies this year. It looks like he's worth a closer look. buds. Only they can all go off at the same time. Should be a pretty one. So we were driving down the road out of Glorieta Canyon. Spotted some pink at the base of this barrel cactus. And I didn't see any beaver tail fins either. That's a hedgehog cactus blooming. Kind of in the shade though. Just looking around though, I spotted some more pink. That one looks bigger. Wow, he's a big hedgehog. Only two flowers right now. He's got a few more buds to come. He ought to look real spectacular in a week or two. Hedgehogs had that funny little thing in the center. And their flowers are just a little bit bigger than the beaver tail flowers. And a 
Of course, you can easily see this cactus's spines. And a nasty looking. Just can't seem to get out of here. I just found another hedgehog. This one's got a few more flowers open. Hedgehog cactus, I guess. Probably especially attracted to pink. We also found a buckhorn choya blooming. Another yellow cactus flower. We've been driving up Coyote Canyon now. A lot of people, but we were expecting that. That's why we spent so much time in Glorietta Canyon. It was so peaceful there. Lots of brittle bush and lupin and a big bunch of poppies up there. Pretty color combination here with the lupin and dandelions and poppies. Big brittle bush here. It's like a waterfall of poppies coming down this hill.
little brittle bush at the bottom. Here's Henderson Canyon Road. It's like a pretty decent crop of the desert sunflowers. Sand verbena is out too, still. Came with no tail. Yep, got him in Texas. Why, why does he shake? He's got so, he's old nowadays, and he's got some kind of muscle thing going uh, on. Oh, little spasms. Yeah. Uh, he's older than he looks. He's how old? Really, uh, probably uh, ten years old. Younger though. But I mean, can't I can see. Break every overlay is old. Yeah, so I've go. seen pictures of these dogs with full on. Oh, wow. I guess. Like whirlies every, I don't know. Oh, what wow. they, people must have had a lot of time in their hands back in the older days. Or something. Oh, God. There's oh. some interesting pictures. All these green plants are that mustard they were talking about that's choking all the native plants. You can definitely see some sunflowers out there. But it does look like they're being overwhelmed by this other stuff. Here's our Verbena Hill. Looking a little tired, but uh, still nice and purple. Look who's been out here chowing on the flowers. Well, I guess he's the cleanup crew. We're here at our mile marker hiking area near the Texas dip. Not a whole lot of exciting things going on here. This is some beaver tail cactus. Looks like there's a lot of monkey flowers down the hill. Five spots yet, though. Mm -hmm. There's this 
barren hillside with lots of monkey flowers on it. Poppies have kind of closed up here for the day. More monkeys on here. What monkey flower hill would be complete without some ghost flowers? Yeah, look at them all there. There's the happy couple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> step on. Coffee. Something fragrant. Driving out to find Slot Canyon and Hawk Canyon now. Decided to park the car there because that looks a little gnarly for my car. Probably could, but why bother? Not worth the risk. Besides, we got stuff to look at. And here we thought the desert lilies were all done. Out here on this road, they're in prime season. Just came across this beautiful desert lily. Looks like several of them, but it's probably one with lots of little side shoots that are all blooming at the same time, and the main shoot is up here. Still going and still gonna go. Well, we came out here looking for five spots, but all we found were tons of desert lilies and some more lupin and a few desert sunflowers. And lots of interesting little canyons to go run around in. Pretty good light to shoot these in, not to worry about shadows. There's my zoom malfunctioning. The sun has gone down now. Time for us to make our way home. We're actually, we're going to the cabin in Arrowhead right now. See what we got blooming up there. <laughs> 